to catch it. Um, anyway, so there's always I've seen those videos of uh, people online doing those um those hair weave things. You've seen that, right? A lot of it's happening. I think um the, a, a big proponent of that is Little B, the rapper. He suddenly out of nowhere, you know, had a, a flipping full head of dreadlocks. Which you know, again, if you know if you're a fan of Little B, you know that mm, that's a bit fishy, mate. That ain't true. I think Little Dirk might have done the same thing. I think the other guy um what's his what's the new artist called? The new rapper. Little something. Oh, I'm saying little something like this. Lil got it. Lil got it, right? Um, that kid, he's definitely got fake weaves. He didn't have dreads before. All of a sudden, he's suddenly got a full head of dreads. So this is something, again, I think it's a generally American thing. I don't think English dudes, British dudes care or British black guys for the most part would go to this extent to do this. I think you'd get laughed out of the shop. I don't know why it is... <sighs> I don't know what it is about <laughs> black American men that will go this far for. And it's weird, it's weird because the same dudes that will get a fake head, get a fake head of dreadlocks, right? Are probably the same kind of guys who will really take the piss out of someone, a fellow guy, if he went and got fake abs or fake pecs. But there's no difference, right? Why? Like, there is no discernible difference. If you're willing to do that, why is that now some, why is getting fake abs now suddenly the craziest thing? They're both crazy. If you don't have a beard that looks like James Harden, I'm sorry, your beard just doesn't grow that way. I'm not, comp my, my beard doesn't grow that way either. I just, I just rock what I have. Like, I don't know. What, what else can you do there? It's just really preposterous, man. It's just like, really? A fake beard? Huh. But anyway, let's play, play the video and you can see what I mean. Bearded weave. <laughs> Dudes are really out here getting this. <laughs> hey yo, this nigga up here looking like Project Fat. I mean, hell. <laughs> boy, boy, chicken soup. Boy, boy, Four, glue the weave on top. Mama mia. Glue a uh, beard glued onto your damn face because you can't grow no That is mad, bro. Nigga. Hold on, let me fast forward this shit. Nigga. Yo. Boy, <laughs> oh my god fellas if you gotta go out here and get this we don't need to be associated with it yeah you just gotta stop man you just gotta stop oh my god look at this shit look i'm gonna say it looks incredible i'm not gonna lie it looks quite nice Again, I don't know what this world's coming to, man. I don't know. I've always wondered, actually, whenever, I think, when, especially when the Kylie Jenner um, generation of women were coming into prominence and that sort of look, that kind of like weird hourglass look that all the LA, or the girls of a certain precolition, the girls from a certain scene in LA have that kind of, they, you know that, that, that Instagram look? All the girls' on Instagram, they look the same, right? It's a very shiny, flat, curvy, look right it's all kind of everything's flat the stomach is very tall the face is very flat in some respects or shiny the hair is really bright or slicked back nails done like everything is a, everything's done a certain way they've always got they've all got a certain sort of image and i remember seeing that and thinking you know especially during the time when everyone was posting pictures of kylie throughout the years you know because she's fairly young so people have pictures of her when she was a, a teenager on the on the on their reality tv show and as she was growing up you know the changes in her appearance some of it due to puberty, some of it due to, you know, some other enhancements. But I remember when people were freaking out about how different she looked when the ages, when they had the, it lined up. I remember thinking to myself, like, without, you know, putting my own personal opinions to one side, right? The fact that maybe I don't agree with, you know, surgically changing yourself in order for you to feel more pretty. I don't necessarily agree with that concept. But again, if it works for you and you feel better by yourself, then, you know, who am I to judge? especially if you've shown no signs of mental retardation or you've shown no sense of, you've shown no signs of, you know, being a little bit disturbed or not being all there in the head, then I guess, you know, you're well over in your rights to do whatever you want with your body. Free agency. Go do you. But I was also thinking of it, looking at it, I was like, you know what? It, that's a really good job. Taking away my own personal opinions, they did a really good job, right? If they did a really good job, and I'm saying as a dude, how, how long would it, or how long would it take or what would that? What excuse would I need to do it myself? Because guys are strange like that, right? Guys, again, this guy's getting ridiculed by me. I'm not gonna, yeah. 
if you glue a beard onto your face, we can't be friends, right? We just can't. I can't hang out with you, right? If we glue a bit of, I just can't hang out with you. Same way, if we go to a restaurant and you start bickering and arguing about, you know, that you only ordered two starters and a drink, I can't be friends with you. Same way, if you kind of glue a beard to your face, we can't be friends. Same way, if I if I if you lend me a game and I don't call you and I don't harass you for it, but you just give it to me when you're done with it. Same way, if you lend me a game and you start texting me every two days about giving it back to you, we can't be friends. There's certain things just like you know, there's certain personality you just can't get along with, right? Because sort of the guy who when his team's losing, he takes the ball and goes home. I can't be friends with you, even if you got the ball. I can't be friends with you. Um, so even though I'm laughing at him and I'm taking I'm ridiculing the decision to do that. There are some dudes out there that will do the same thing, but also secretly be like. I kind of want that done, you know, right? There's guys out there that have that kind of thinking. Cool. If that's the case and you want to get it done, <sighs> what's the problem, right? It's for you and you alone. You know you're doing it for a particular kind of look. It's going to serve its purpose, especially if you're going to, I see it, maybe it makes more sense if you're going to go on a holiday, right? You're going abroad somewhere. You've got a special occasion happening or whatever it may be they might make sense because i think maybe just turning up all of a sudden with your friends who normally see you with a goatee all of a sudden you've got like a full james harden it might be a bit strange maybe for an event or maybe going somewhere where not you know people don't know who you are that might work or just in general day-to-day -day life fuck it if you don't you know if you don't care and um, girls come back to their hometown with a you know with an entire different body and no one no one seen them run down the street that you know no one bats an eyelid so i don't think anyone bat an eyelid about you having a beard right it might be a bit weird but people get used to it it's sort of like seeing your eccentric friend in their, in their new outfit all of a sudden, right? It might be strange seeing your friend, you know, wearing no no boxes walking down the street. But after a while, your eyes get used to it, especially if you don't look down. So I get it. But I think it's going to take a lot for dudes. Again, I, I don't know, maybe something for my own opinion, but I think it's going to take a lot for this kind of trend to kind of be widespread. But it's also, again, very fascinating how the lengths that some American do, again, I think it's America, I'm pretty sure it is, the lengths some American dudes will go to in order to kind of, you know, keep up appearances. But then they'll kind of slate guys on this side of the pool who are a little bit, I don't know, I'd, I'd imagine some of the guys that are on like Geordie Shore and shit who are incredibly effeminate in some ways, but also alpha, would get ridiculed by some of the American jock kind of dudes, right? But they're probably the same kind of characters just express different ways right they're both jocks in the same kind of di um, way really they've got probably a lot more in common than they have um not in common but bloody hell man Be gluing a bit gluing a bit to your face is like a next level next level that that's something i didn't think i'd see but again i'm not surprised because i just think if the girls can get to a level where people are having debates as to whose body is real or not it's gotten that good, right? I think there is an opportunity for someone to step in and deliver that same level of product to men, especially men who don't want to surgically change their face or anything, right? I think the moment, imagine, because this guy looks like, you know, he's maybe a, bit, a little bit overweight, but if you're, I'd, I'd think, <laughs> could you get to a point where they could maybe lipo your face or, or change your face so you get cheekbones or shit if you're a dude and you want to look ripped? That kind of ripped, kind of like Jack YouTube dude, right? With a big chin. Or maybe, yeah, chins and stuff. That would be the weird thing because girls get some stuff saw down right so they can face can look more uh sm it can look smaller a little bit more rounder right because that's the idea of cuteness would there be an occasion where a dude will get his jaw broken on purpose and then get something put in place where he's got so he can get like a johnny bravo sort of like massive jawline that's when it's going to reach peak 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 um self-development kind of plastic surgery level ways imagine that that's going to be nuts. People just getting that, you know. Then, then stuffing stuff in your stomach to make you look like your abs will won't seem that big of a deal, really. Think about it. If someone's willing to fucking get their, their jaw broken and have some sort of metal structure thing being put on. Or maybe just a whole thing reconstructed. And so they can make it look like you're, you've are you got like a bigger face. Sucking the fat out of your face. Make you look like you have cheekbones, like you've lost weight. Wow. But again, not for me, man. Not for me. I'd much rather have a shitty beard. Like I, said, I do the same thing with the hair. I, I'm kind of blessed where I don't really have any. Doesn't really. Ha I don't have an indication. I'll, I'll be bored anywhere. I don't really have any bald spots, or my hairline hasn't receded over the over the years. I just have loads of grey hairs for the most part. But I've even said to myself, if I had any kind of balding anywhere and my hair wasn't growing where I needed to grow, I just look like you know, I look like Lucas Mora. I just leave it like that. I wouldn't go and get a full David Silver and get an entirely different barnet. I just leave it bald. Um, I think a lot a lot of dudes are probably in that kind of realm, but in that kind of think the same way I am. But there might be a, some dudes out there who are like, you know what, I've got a couple bags left. Why not? 
So more power to you if you want to do that. But not for me, man. Bloody hell. Not for me.